But let's take a look at those second half highlights. So let's go back out to Strawberry Stadium for the second half. We could see that the adjustment they made at halftime was instead of trying to run the ball inside, they ran an outside zone there outside the tight end and got some big yardage. And uh, their running game is very, very good. And just in three plays, they scored a touchdown. Not very happy with the way we came out and started that on either side of the football. And then we come back, we have a third and one and run a dive to Zeke Jones and don't make it. We have to punt the football again. And here we are, some of the line stunts we did with our defensive line really helped us stop their run game. Great change of direction by Jasper on that run. Here we go with Jasper again. See how tough he is, zigging it out. Sometimes people lose Jasper behind the big offensive line. We had a nice drive going here. We throw a bubble screen outside to Zeke Jones, and Zeke fumbles the football. Did not take care of the ball there on that play. When they come back, uh, they throw hot into the flat to their running back on a blitz. Again, they were throwing underneath. We were getting good pressure on the quarterback, so they were throwing the ball underneath. Here they run a quarterback draw. Again, nice tackle there by Avery Crooks. And once again, our defense holds them to a field goal attempt. So now that puts them ahead 19 to 17 for the first time we're behind in the football game with a minute to go in the third quarter. Tyler Beatty again with a nice run. Starting out the fourth quarter, here we have a third and three and uh, we try to go with Tyler again and they stop us and we have to punt the football, still down by one. Here we get pressure on their quarterback, he throws the ball out of bounds. We get them to punt the football again. This was a nice return here by Chris, picks the ball up on the bounce and gets about a 10 yard return. Sets our offense up inside the 40 yard line. We come down and try a little option pitch and we pitch it on the ground and they recover the ball. So we lose field position there. Nice job by Curtis Strong coming in. They tried to run a split zone, cut the tailback back. And here they pump fake the screen and try to throw a wheel up the sideline. Huge interception by Rakeem Wilson. One block and we can make this one in the end zone. But again, now we set our offense up inside to 30. Huge play by our defense. Little bootleg play action pass. Andre Cryer. Nice execution on the bootleg. And here we throw a slant and go to Chris Wilson. Chris makes a great catch in the corner of the end zone. We fake the slant route and then get back to the pylon. It was a great throw by Tyler. Very good execution. We decide to go for two. Tyler zips it in in between the linebackers. Luis Sabavero with a big two-point conversion. That play really turned out to be big at the end of the ball game. Puts us up 25 to 19. Big play there by Mark Newbill, stripping the ball out. Now we get the ball back on offense. We're trying to run out the clock. It's a run and play to Andre Cryer. We have to punt the football to them. Do a good job of stopping them here. We get the ball out on the ground, but we don't recover the fumble. We've got to get on the fumble when we have an opportunity. Here their quarterback scrambles, and again we bust the coverage in the outside half and turn one of their receivers wide open. We miss two tackles. Curtis Strong has to come across the field and tackle their receiver on the 15-yard line. First down play, we have a nice little twist inside. And here, this is a fourth down and two, desperation throw in the end zone, and Rakeem Wilson goes up and intercepts the football. Great goal line stand by our defense. Huge play. We decide to take a safety. Bowmoth running the ball out of the end zone to eat up as much clock as possible. Then the last play of the game, they have no timeouts left. Interception by Quentin Pierre to seal the game. Huge game by our defense, three interceptions. Best play in football, the victory play. Great win for our entire program. Coach, your team holds on, monster win, 25-21. to 21. You actually fall behind in the second half, but then come back with the Chris Wilson touchdown, and then a monster defensive stand right near the goal line at the end of the game. 
Well, we allow them to uh, complete a pass on a, on a broken coverage uh, and get the ball down the 15-yard line. And right at the end, and I'm, I'm thinking to myself, oh, no, not another McNeese, you know, losing the game in the last minute. But our defense held huge interception by Rakeem Wilson. He had two interceptions in the game. Uh, some strategy things there where we had to take the safety and then kick after the safety. So uh, there was a lot going on down the sideline, but we were well prepared and uh, executed well and uh, so happy for our kids. The Lions won at 25-21, moved to 3-1 and one in Southland Conference play. Let's go back out to Strawberry Stadium and check out some post-game interviews. Saw a team come together whenever the ones aren't in there. And uh, we, got, we got guys, we got plenty of guys that play. And uh, I was telling another guy earlier, Coach uh, Condell, said it's like a pistol. We just put, guy, put bullets in, we go. They don't matter, there's not, no fault in the bullets, we just go, we fly. End zone, we was in cover three, and we had trips to my side. And I knew he was gonna go across the middle, so I just played between two and three. And he just lobbed it up, and I just made a play on the ball. We just heard from Tyler Beatty and Rakeem Wilson, two uh, big parts of this win. Tyler Beatty went the whole way at quarterback, Rakeem Wilson with the two big interceptions. And just like Tyler said, the kind of theme of the week, reload the gun. Well, that's what we're trying to accomplish. You know, it, it, I think it proves to our fans that our recruiting is going in the right direction. Uh, our staff is working very hard, even now, starting on next year's class and, uh, you know, trying to focus in. And, and that's the point we want to get to, where if one person goes down, then there's another one you know, to step in and take his place, and I think that was proven this week.